Today's tip is actually a series of three tips. In all candor, some people might say, well, Michael, you're getting a bit nitpicky with these tips. Maybe so. Individually, each one won't make or break your presentation. However, as you've heard in a previous video, when you start to stack up these mistakes one on top of another, it makes for a negative experience and people are less inclined to want to sit in on future online presentations you're doing. Or if you're in sales, they may not want to talk to you anymore. And if you're a leader, they may not buy into your, your message. So every little aspect you can change to make positive will create a better experience. So the first tip is start on time. I really hate this one when people do not start on time. When I've taken time on my calendar to show up when I was supposed to, and then the speaker comes on or the host and says, well, we're gonna be about five or 10 minutes late for the people who aren't here on time. My first thought is that's their problem. My time is just as valuable as anyone else's. So don't make me wait because someone else can't show up. I get it. This is kind of a difficult period in history where we've had to stack a lot of these virtual meetings on top of one another. I get it. And some people might say I'm being a little, pardon language, hard ass about this, but you're sending a message to your audience when you tell them, be on time, but we're not going to start on time. You're telling them, first of all, you don't value their time. Secondly, you're telling them, well, you don't really have to be there at the designated time because they don't begin when they said they would anyway. The perfect example of that is, is a, a coach who I like to listen to. He's got some really good webinars. I never show up until 15 minutes after the beginning of his presentations because I know the first 15 minutes is a bunch of fluff. It's something I've heard over and over again and there's no substance to it. So he's trained me to show up late. Don't train your people to show up late. Be on time end on time and it's much more likely that they'll show up at future events. The second tip comes from one of the greatest speakers in the world. She's a Hall of Fame presenter. She has adjusted quite nicely to the online world. Her name's Patricia Fripp. She's actually a, kind of a grand mentor of mine. She mentored my coaches. Uh, but Patricia points out that many people make this very visual mistake on camera. That's not distracting at all, is it? <laughs> and Patricia is a very sophisticated uh, woman who was born in Britain. So she says, we don't want to see your bottle. What you should do is take a cup with a straw, take a sip and place it down much more visually appealing. I couldn't agree more, Patricia. There is a second benefit in not only is that not as distracting, but if you look very carefully, it's additional marketing as if the sign wasn't enough. So I'm constantly branding and, and letting people know I'm speaking CPR without being obnoxious about it, I hope. But more importantly, it's much easier and much more pleasing to see somebody take a quick drink and then move on. And then the third tip is one that I still suffer from sometimes is one of the early challenges when COVID first hit and people were doing online presentations is that they weren't looking at their cameras at all. They were down here. Oh, I'm going to look at Bob and Sally and Jane. The opposite problem is starting to occur now is that people are staring at the camera. And if you do that for too long, it can get creepy. Right? If I was sitting across from you at lunch and I did this, you might be saying, check, please need to get out of here. Just like you would sitting across from somebody at the dinner table or having coffee. It's OK to occasionally look around. Uh, if you're trying to think of something, your eyes will naturally do this. Uh, if a movement over in the corner catches your eye. There may not be as much movement in your house, maybe if you've got dogs and kids at home in the middle of COVID, but it's okay to occasionally look away. Uh, if you like my setup, I've got big screen in front of me and occasionally something will pop up. I'll glance over at it just to see what it was. I won't read it because that's rude, but I will take a quick glance and look back at the camera. So don't stare at the camera. It is unnerving after a while. Right, again, three simple tips today. 
individually they won't make or break your meeting but if you start to stack one of these up on top of another it's visually unappealing people have too many options on where they can go with their virtual presentations today so make it as visually appealing as possible and you increase the odds that not only will they attend future webinars or presentations that you put on they might actually take action on your suggestions i look forward to seeing you in tip number 21